today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to finish this effect. Welcome back to part two. In this video, we're gonna be going over how I did the helicopter. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. First thing I did was render out the first frame of my shot as a PNG. And now you wanna open Blender. And I got this helicopter model from Production Crate. I'll also leave a link in the description. Then I'm gonna hit Shift A and add an empty plane axis. Then you want to scale it up and align it to the middle of the helicopter. Now select everything and make sure the empty is a lighter orange and go over to the object, parent, and object. Now everything's parented to the empty and now you can easily move around your model but still be able to select the individual parts of the model. Now I'm going to set my resolution to 1080 by 1920. You can make it whatever you want. And in the camera options, I'm going to select background image, add image, and open and find the frame you rendered out. Now with the empty selected, click I on your keyboard and go over to visual location rotation. I selected location rotation and scale. You don't need to animate the scale. I don't know why I chose that. Then I'm gonna make another window and clear out the info that we don't need to see. Now you can easily animate while also being able to see what the animation looks like through the camera. Animating the helicopter is actually pretty easy. Before I did this, I watched a few videos of just helicopters flying just to get an idea of how they move. I also use the graph editor to make the animation even smoother. Now, once you're done animating, you can export it and put it into After Effects. When filming, you wanna make sure you get an HDRI because the HDRI is what we're gonna use as our environment for the CG shots. I use an app called HDRI and you can simply export the images and convert them to an HDRI using a converter. I'll also leave a link to the one I used. Once you've added an HDRI to your scene, you're gonna want to make another window and select the shader editor. Go to where it says object and switch it to world. Then click the HDRI and hit control T. If this doesn't work, you probably need to enable the Node Wrangler add-on, which is a built-in Blender add-on that you can simply just enable. Now we can adjust the position of our HDRI. Next, go to the camera options and enable depth of field and select the empty we created earlier. Now you can turn down the F-soft to make the background more blurry. Now to animate the rotor, we're going to go to Object, Set Origin, and Origin to Geometry. Now set a rotation keyframe by clicking I on your keyboard, and go to the last keyframe and rotate it, like a lot. I don't know if there's a more efficient way to do this. There probably is, but the method I used was just to keep rotating until I got a speed that I liked. Then add another rotation keyframe. Then right click your keyframes and under interpolation mode, select linear. Now the animation's in a linear motion. Also, if you go to the world settings, you can adjust the strength of the background to control the brightness of your scene.
With your camera selected, add a visual location and rotation keyframe. And it's pretty much the same process with animating. Now add an empty plane axis and make sure you update your focus object in the camera options. Now set a location keyframe and animate it to what you want in focus because the empty that we created is like our focus point. Now I didn't really like how the textures were looking so in the shader tab I just adjusted the roughness and metallic options to get more of like a shiny look. Now to animate the gun, I'm going to select the gun and press tab to go into edit mode. And by clicking L on your keyboard, you can select specific areas of the mesh. Now we want to separate the barrel from the rest of the gun, so that way we can only animate the barrel. Actually, I think it's called a barrel. I, I don't know much about guns. I don't know what that like part of the gun is. I'm just going to say barrel. And you can do that by going over to mesh and separate by selection. Now the barrel is isolated from the rest of the gun. Now set a location keyframe and after a few frames, push the barrel back and set another keyframe. Now just copy and paste the first keyframe a few frames after the second one. And you can adjust the speed by spreading out the keyframes or putting them closer. Then once you found a speed that you liked, you can copy and paste those keyframes as many times as you want. Then for some realism, I added a point light and changed the color to like an orange tone and increased the power. If you hover your cursor over the power and hit I, you can set a keyframe and I animated the light power so that it matches with the firing of the gun. Now in After Effects, I set markers on my timeline every time the gun is supposed to fire. Now you can add a muzzle flash asset to align it with the markers. Now select all your muzzle flashes and pre-compose them and set the blending mode to screen. Then I created an adjustment layer and added an exposure effect. And now you can increase it to your liking and set a keyframe to the exposure. And right before the next marker, set the exposure to zero. Now copy and paste those keyframes for the rest of the markers. Now we have this. Now for the missiles, I just animated them in Blender and exported them separately. Then I rotated myself out and put one of the missiles under the roto layer. Then I added some dust assets for when I launched the missiles. And as a final detail, I added some heat distortion and shockwaves to the scene. And if you follow these steps correctly, you should have something like this.
Now that's gonna wrap up today's tutorial and it's also gonna wrap up this whole effect. There's not gonna be a part three or anything. If you like this style of content, definitely leave a comment below if you want me to do more of this. And I really wanna get better with Blender. So within my next few tutorials, it's definitely gonna be more like Blender. It's, it's gonna be more Blender focused. And hold on, let, let me bring on my special guest. <laughs> Without that being said, I will see you guys next Monday.